Hello, welcome to, once again to Fireproof Tim Shepard Reviews. Today we are reviewing last night's episode of NXT and TNA. First we go to NXT. The contract signing for Bailey and Sasha to kick off the show. Sasha is the heel, but she is the most loved heel on NXT right now. And Bailey is the lovable face, which also she has a dark side to her because of what happened on NXT. Um, she pretty much jumped Sasha. What can I say? She goes, she went, I know what happens at contract signing. I want to fight now. Sasha left the ring and Bailey jumped out of the ring and chased her. The next thing was a eight-man tag match. Which was in, cool and interesting because it never it has never happened before on NXT. And I, I give that a f four because of it was never done before. Then we had Samoa Joe versus a no-name person. Samoa Joe wins, blah, blah, blah. Out comes the lone wolf, barren, boring-ass Corbin. I've never seen Joe decimated like that in a long time. Joe was rolled into the ring, flown against the ropes, and ended dazed. Frankly, I didn't think Baron Corbin could actually pick up Joe. To me, Baron Corbin sucks. So it's going to be interesting to see Samoa Joe versus Baron Corbin Saturday night. Tyler Breeze's match was a quickie too. But it will be interesting to see the legendary Jushin Thunder Lager make his NXT, I don't want to say debut, but yeah, it is a debut. It's one in a lifetime appearance for NXT. And win or lose, Tyler Breeze is going to get over big. Hopefully... To a point where he can get the NXT title. Because quite frankly. That man has been overlooked since FCW. The debut of. Uha Nation. NXT named him Apollo Crews. That's going to be a good match. It'll probably be like Kevin Owens' debut and going against a nobody like... Oh yeah, CJ Parker. And, uh... I'm looking forward to Bailey versus Sasha. I'm hoping Sasha loses because she's already on the main roster. It, it It's... It will be fitting for some, like, Paige, or not Paige, but Bailey to win. Just like I know the main event, Finn Balor is going to win because Kevin Owens is on the main roster. Vod Villains versus Blake and Murphy. I'm not a fan of Blake and Murphy. They came out of nowhere, and they cut corners to retain that title a lot. And I like the VOD villains. I want to see them win. Because they're long overdue for a tag team title run. 
So isn't Enzo Amore and Big Kez. But I think they're losing on purpose because they're getting ready to go on the main roster because, quite frankly, the main roster does not have that many good tag teams or good comic relief funny tag teams like Big Kaz and Enzo R. Uh, if I'm missing anything, please write in the comments below and I will say thank you. Moving on to TNA. You open the, uh, you open TNA with an introduction from Jeff Jarrett and Eric Young, Pertinere, leveling that man out. Cursing him out because it should have been, he, apparently Eric Young thinks he's TNA God, everything should be handed to him. But quite frankly, yes, he has been in the business a very long time, especially for TNA. But we are going to go back to his title run before. Quite frankly, low ratings when he was champion. I understand they put him on it because, hell, he was long overdue for it. He worked from jobber to mid-carter to now where he is. I give the man props. He's an okay heel. But he's he's not championship worth. Uh, he's not ready to hold a long title run ever. Just like uh Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode needs to be champion, but right now his I don't know if it's the gimmick or if he's actually going from real life a little bit that saying that he could. He needs to have the title because he's owed that. He's been in the business as long as Eric Young. He's better as champion at or over Eric Young. I can see his gripe. But having having GFW guys on there is kind of like uh, belittling TNA. Because TNA, for the longest time, has gotten better. And now Jeff Jarrett's back in the picture. The overrated mid-carter anyway that should never have been champion. And the only reason why they had champion, or he was the champion in WCW is because there was never anybody left good in WCW. And the only reason why he was TNA champion... Multiple times is because it was his company, and he really sucked at it, and he was greedy, and he fed his ego, just like he is doing to kill TNA yet again. GFW, Global Force Wrestling. Why are you on TNA? Trying to push them to the back, the wrestlers and everything to the back door. When you really don't have a ti uh, titles or the manpower to run a business, or uh, not the business, but wrestling in itself, your wrestlers. Okay, GFW's wrestlers contain of guys from PWG that are excellent, that made their name in that, and it's in, they're downgrading their names. For GFW. And they're also made up of WWE rejects or the WWE people that were underrated and WWE never really gave them a chance. Like Justin Gabriel, aka now PJ Black. Uh, Chris Masters is Chris something and if you guys can let me know I know it's like a Polish I think last name please help me on the comments section below of this video it starts with an M so it's like masters but Polish it might be Polish for masters I think Mordeski or something like that I think it's how it's pronounced um 
a reject version of... Uh, let me rephrase that. Uh, Brian Myers. He is the reject of WWE. You would know Brian Myers better as Kurt Hawkins. One half of the great, one of the greatest tag teams when Edge was heel. Part of the Edge heads. Hell, his uh, buddy right now is still doing better than he is. Even though they're not using him properly, Zack Ryder. They used to be Hawkins and Ryder. Better known as the Edge Hedge, the Major Brothers, and everything like that. TNA is also killing their knockouts division. Quite frankly, my opinion, I am tired of seeing Gail Kim... Running the show for the knockouts division. She has done everything. She quite frankly needs to retire. So doesn't Velvet Sky. Yes, she's nice to look at. She is hot as hell. But. She still can't wrestle. She's just another pretty face. I am also tired of the nasty looking Angelina Love. Good God, that woman looks like she got beaten a face with an ugly stick. <sighs> but these women, the, the women that are in there now, the younger generation, like Taryn Terrell, the, 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 the other dollhouse members, hell, even Brooke Tessmacher, she's still in that age range, or, uh, not age range, but John Dura, she is the younger ver talent oh, for the knockouts division. Keep them there. Bring in some new talent for the knockouts. Get rid of, like I said, Gail Kim, Angelina Love, Velvet Sky. Get rid of Madison Rain for you even. I'm tired of seeing her too. But... This is just my opinion. Now we got EC3. EC3 whines, bitches, complains. But when he is backed up in that corner where he needs to uh, just fuck it, he does do the right thing after all and wrestles. PJ Black, Justin Gabriel, gave him a run for his money. But it cost him at the end with the 1%. And boy, did PJ Black sell that move. If somebody can tell me who won uh, Bram versus Mr. Anderson match, because I... Blanked out in that match for some reason. I don't know what I was doing. I was watching it, but I did not see the ending of it, because I think I was getting a drink. So please, in the comments section below, please let me know who won. And I hope you like my videos. I'm just trying to do my best. Tonight will be... Smack down here in another hour, so probably tomorrow morning that review or sometime tomorrow that review will be up also. I just like doing it. I hope people like seeing me do this. Yes, I know I botch in my video just like people botch in their promos, in their wrestling. This is 100% real, not edited. But I want to see change, and people want to see change, but yet we all bitch and complain because when we get the change, we're still not happy. We're, we're fans, we're wrestling fans, we're never happy.
And Jeff Jarrett needs to stop playing, uh, being in TNA's part because he's going to kill it like he did before. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've been I'm fireproof Tim Shepard. I will see you next time for another wrestling review. Please hit subscribe if you like it. And I enjoy making these videos. I am starting to not be scared in front of the camera. Peace.